Welcome to Sculpture Studios. We've got a little mix of projects here, creating some Alice in Wonderland style props for L'Oreal, along with one of their products. This is for a photo shoot to promote their Colorista hair dye, and we're going to be creating a range of oversized items, which as you probably know is right up our street. The client sent us some images of some existing props they really liked the look of, and wanted created for themselves. As well as large bottles of their Colorista hair dye, we're making some large playing cards in reference to the Queen of Hearts Kingdom, a large key, and finally some giant mushrooms. These were a little different in style and scale to the last mushrooms we made, and you can find the video link in the card at the top right of the window, or in the YouTube video description below. This is another great project for Aiden, as he loves the carving aspect of the work, and for this, these are predominantly going to be made from polystyrene or styrofoam, with a light water-based plaster render. Quite simple and straightforward, and it's just a case of blowing up to the correct scale and a decent hand at carving. So you probably won't need me waffling through the whole video, I'll pass you on to Aiden now and let you sit back, relax and enjoy the process. Hi everyone, here we have a large mushroom, one at seven foot tall and one at five foot tall, Friday half past six, I'll probably be working all night on this, uh, Saturday and Sunday as well, so this is for L'Oreal. process using nail brushes nothing fancy just like some nail quite coarse let's get cracking End of the uh, nail brush work, and now just a normal saw, and you can get nice forms and pulls on it. So, uh, this is the next procedure. The next step is to turn it upside down and do the other side.
Next stage of the project is wire brushes. Just normal wire brushes, that homes the polystyrene down just a little bit more. Here's the two bottles with the little dents in the front. Still waiting for the graphics on the front of these. Made out of polystyrene and emulsion painted. This small mushroom is going to be travelling in one single piece. It has metal work up the middle of it to, uh, to hold it together. But we think that that's, uh, that's strong enough to hold in one separate piece. So that, that's quite good. On the larger one, we've decided to break down two sections up here not quite finished there yet but it cuts off there and the head will travel separate in transit so it's a bit safer and it will last better that way in the lorry and here we have the key and that's made of wood so it's nice and strong as your gold finish and over here we have the stands for the cars and we have little uh, angle iron metal work once we have the cars we'll fix them down at the right gap through the centers and they look good and they should stay upright nicely so, yeah mushrooms and the bottles cards and keys hope you like them Well, we hope you've enjoyed the video showing the process of how these items were made and if you'd like to see more of the props we create you can find plenty more on our channel. 
And if you've taken the time to watch this entire project video, you deserve to watch another one because you're worth it. Just a little L'Oreal joke there because it's a lorry. Yeah, never mind. Please feel free to leave any comments below as they're always appreciated and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook and follow at Aiden Hines on Twitter and for more of our work visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.